I have an idea for a random kind of painting <laughs> and it involves a fennec fox. I think it's just because I saw one on the internet in a picture or something and I thought it was cute. And I used to actually be kind of interested in fennec foxes in elementary school, I think. I don't remember, but why not start out with some pen sketches just in different uh, positions and motions that I'm taking from random videos documentaries and things. I'm doing it on this um, vellum page. My sketchbook has a few pages that are made of vellum, which isn't really that good for much, but it's really interesting for drawings and notes and things. I gotta say though, um, sketching on vellum is kind of not that easy on ballpoint pen. It's kind of the same story with the last sketchbook I had where I was ballpoint pen sketching on um, leftover acrylic paint that had dried. I find the pen has been skipping a lot and it's super super annoying but it's working out. I'm having fun. I find that things just look extra good for no reason other than they're just done in ballpoint pen. It's So it feels a little bit effortless and fast and still worthwhile. In the meantime, I'm not sure if I answered this question yet. If you could try any art medium in the whole world and money wasn't an issue, which would you choose? There are so many kinds of art making that I'm super interested in and I've never tried it. Um, like stained glass. I love stained glass things. I'm thinking of trying out resin to see if I can do similar stuff. I've also been like wanting to try encaustic for a long time, but but that opportunity has never really come up either. But um, my official answer, the most like currently unattainable art medium that I would love to try again, really, because um, I have tried it actually. It's ceramics. I really enjoyed ceramics class. I took, um, I must have taken a class or two in college. I guess just one glass. <laughs> I never really cared about ceramics that much. We didn't do much of it in high school, elementary. I was always kind of afraid of the whole um, air bubble exploding aspect of ceramics. Uh, not to mention that my 3D forming isn't that great. I'm also kind of a closeted minimalist, <laughs> so um, I don't really like the idea of having stuff. That's why my small watercolors are pretty simple because they pack away so easily and having a bunch of ceramic experiments would take up so much space. But the reason it's unattainable really is because of the kiln and things. There's lots of like uh, technical equipment that you need to have and I would not be able to have. It sounds kind of expensive. I never understood the glazing aspect of ceramics because we had to in our class we had to mix our own glazes and I never understood that part so it's like a completely different art world that I've never really dug too deep into but just scraping the surface of it I really really love it and I've come to really appreciate um, ceramic items more now after I've struggled with it so yeah, I think if I imagine myself being a completely different person with um, all the free time and money in the world, I think I would probably try out ceramics. I would love to be able to make practical things like uh, really unique uh, dishware and, and you know tiles that you can install in your house somewhere. Just like a whole heap of personalized stuff. I like that idea. So I hope you enjoyed my Fennec Fox sketches. Uh, leave me a note in the comments of what kind of art medium you would love to try. And I'll see you next time.